Hello traders, Steve Gans here. So I put out a couple videos of trades that I've made surrounding DJT. This is uh, the Truth Social platform that came public. Now I've been able to enter a number of trades that had zero risk associated with them. And I get the question of how can you do that? How can that happen, etc. And so I wanna show the process that I use in this. Now this is a rare occurrence, let me be clear on this. The only time this type of thing is going to happen is if you have something that is actively traded, that has wide bid ask spreads, usually that's going to mean that there's a lot of people in there that may not necessarily know the ins and outs of options trading. And so how do I go about determining whether or not something like that is even possible? I use option strat. Now you have to know where to look first, otherwise you'd be forever trying to sort through a bunch of different stocks. So anytime you see what I'll call a meme stock, that has really high volatility associated with it, a lot of activity associated with it, a lot of emotion associated with it because sometimes emotion will drive a little bit of the craziness that happens in there. When you have something like that, what I do is I go in and I'll look at, in this case, I'm looking at DJT. I, I came and I clicked on different expirations. This is where option strat is so great. I can literally in a, in a split second come click through a bunch of expirations and see that eh, of all these expirations, for whatever reason, June 21st here looks like it, um, it, it's the one that has the best reward to risk ratio. So that's a starting point is to see what that looks like. Now, I tend to do this with a butterfly. I, as far as I can tell, this will only work with a butterfly because of how much money we can potentially get for these short strikes right here. And I need to do a consistent width on my wings. So I'm doing five point wide wings here. So the thing I wanna look at is if I come in and I take a look here, well, look at how wide this bid ask spread is on just this one option. It goes from $3.70 to $4.10 on just this one strike. And then if we look at the put strike, we're $13.10 to $13.75. Now, there's not a lot of volume on this particular one here, which is a little concerning to me. So the potential is here to put this trade on given the wide bid ask spreads. And one of the ways that I can tell that for sure is I come and I look at historical chart. So what historical chart does for me is it shows me exactly the prices that this particular spread has traded at over the past day. Now again, this thing has five point wide wings. So the absolute max risk in this trade is $5.00 less whatever money I take in to get into the trade. Look at this, right now that spread is trading for $5.11. Now, it's showing that because of the wide bid ask spread. I'm gonna to have to be creative about getting this trade filled because if I go put an order out there to trade this spread for $5.11, my broker is going to reject that trade saying, hey dummy, you can't get more for this trade than the maximum risk associated with it. So I can't do it in a single trade, that is true. But there's ways I can maybe work around this. So this tells me that at one point during the day today, this particular trade, tra somebody was able to essentially get this trade off if they traded it in separate increments, if you will, for $5.60. Now this is a trade that has a total of $5 in risk in it. So somebody that was able to get that sort of an entry on this trade basically has a guaranteed win of $60, okay? But you have to be able to get filled in this. And again, you can't get filled in putting out an order more than $5 for this trade because the broker won't allow it. Now, by contrast here, let me just come take a quick look at a more, I'll call it stable symbol. Let's look at Apple. Okay, same thing, we're looking at five point wings here. Let me pull up this historical chart. And if we take a look at the Apple chart, what we're likely going to see here, hmm, not sure why it's slow here, here we go. So you'll see that this $5 wide spread, 
the, the closest anybody's got is $4.06, okay? So in other words, no matter how good of an entry you had in this trade with $5 wide wings, even if you got this absolute best potential fill here of $4.09, you still had 91 cents of risk in that trade. You couldn't do better than that. Now I can make this order, put it in at my broker. My broker will in fact fill it that way, okay? Because again, that's a typical butterfly. It's a legitimate trade. But coming back to looking at that same scenario here in DJT, uh, I'm not sure why it's showing this way. Again, that's likely the bid ask spread. Let's look at our historical chart right now and see. Yeah, see, now it's back below. Now it's down at $4.97, which is still phenomenal. Okay, so I have a three cent risk in this trade. But again, my goal was to try to get a fill somewhere along the lines to where I had zero risk in the trade. That's my purpose for this video. Again, I could put this order out at $4.97 and maybe it would fill. Uh, again, I did one a week or two ago that I actually did it that way. I put it out as a butterfly trade at $4.96 and it did in fact fill. But let me show you a different way of getting that done. So if I come over to my trading platform, I can also see here, see I entered this exact same trade. And I can see that right now it looks like I would get a $5.29 credit. Look at my P&L diagram. My P&L diagram shows that no matter what happens in this trade, I am going to win $30, okay, or $29 at 29 cents. Again, I go into this trade right now, my broker is going to reject it. They are not going to allow this trade. However, let me just show you how I can... Uh, work the system. Okay, so my goal now is to come in and basically break this up into two separate spreads and see what my entry looks like. So I'll come in, I will sell the 52 and a half put, and then I'm going to buy the 47 and a half put. And we can see that has a $3.82 credit associated with it if I get filled at that price. And then I can come do the same thing here where I am going to sell the 52 and a half call, and then I'm going to buy the 57 and a half call. That's $1.31. Now I add those two up, that's $4, $5.14. That's this amount here. I can enter this into separate trades, okay? And I might have to shop those a little bit because the bid ask spreads are a little bit wider on those. And let me just go ahead and I am going to make this as a live trade. I am not recommending a live trade at all. I recommend this in a paper trade, but I can't simulate a fill or show you how it would fill unless I do it in a live trade. Now, there's a possibility that I could get assigned either short shares or long shares because I'm doing a butterfly. So that's a reason that unless a trader knows how to deal with assignment, what that means, etc., not something for not something you should be doing if you don't understand. Again, I urge people to do this in paper, but the key here is the fill and I can't demonstrate the fill unless I come in here and show this particular thing. So it's gonna give me a hard to borrow telling me that, yeah, if I get short shares, that I'm gonna to have to cover those instantly, etc. So I'm aware of that. So I have my order out there for 380. Then I can come in here, place this order as well, and I'm gonna place it at a place that if I get filled on that 380, this, uh, this is going to give me actually nine cents above and beyond what I would need if I could get filled at this price. So let me just do the same thing here and I'm gonna come in and again, I'll maybe, I'll put this at $1.30 just for the heck of it. And I'll go ahead and put that order out there as well. Oh, I got filled on that one it seems. So let me just come look at my monitor here. And yes, so I got filled on the call side at $1.30. So now my goal is to get filled on this side at something greater than $3.77. If I can achieve that, I will be in a no lose or no risk of loss trade. Let me just do a cancel replace order and I'll come in now and 
let me just go to that 377 because if I get filled to 377, I'm golden. That achieves my objective. And there, instantly filled. So now when I come to my analyze tab on this, look at that. I have entered, let me just show positions. Let's hide simulations and show positions. And again, I have some other trades open in this as well. Let me turn off the older one and just show the one I just got filled on. So this is the July 21 expiration I just got filled on. You can see my worst case scenario in this trade now is that I'm going to make 70 bucks, no matter what the market does. Again, the caveat here, the important caveat, is I could, as we get closer to expiration, I could potentially get assigned either side of this thing, okay? So I have to understand what that means and how to deal with it. The other thing that can happen is what just happened here a second ago, and that's that my T0 line in this could show that I have a massive loss. Like right now, it's showing that I'm down $101. A minute ago, it showed I was down $1,000. I have to know the math behind these options and know that is bogus. That number is meaningless, okay? If I were to panic out of this and go put an order to get out of this for some reason, that's what I might have to pay to get out of it. And it would be at a loss right now if I paid the market. The key here is that I'm then paying up. I'm going to hit the ask in order to get out of this trade. And because you have wide bid ask spreads, that's why this is showing this way. But I as a trader know the math in this trade and I know that it makes absolutely no difference what this shows right here because I will be in this trade through the duration. As this trade advances, of course, my T0 line is going to mound up here to some level of profitability, or if this thing runs down to 20 bucks or runs up to 100 bucks, yeah, I'm gonna be at 60 bucks on it, okay? That's gonna be my max, or 70 bucks, that's gonna be my max gain if I exceed this on both sides. But again, I also have to keep in mind the potential for assignment. If you're not sure what assignment means, I'm gonna put a link down below in this description that will take you to a video I did on assignment and why I personally don't fear assignment. But again, my goal is not, I wanna stress that, my goal is not to have people make this trade live. I am not recommending that. But the only way I could demonstrate how to get into a no-lose trade like this is to actually go ahead and get the fills because that's not something that can be demonstrated in paper. So with that, thank you so much, everyone. Please, if you like this sort of content, like, subscribe, give me a comment below. I greatly appreciate it. Take care, everyone.